it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Shein video. I get so many requests to haul Shein. So I've done it in the past. We've done clothing and I know we just did a swimsuit Saturday over this past summer. I'm pretty sure we did a Shein swimsuit Saturday. So in this video, we are hauling some fall-ish I say fall-ish, very loosely inspired clothing. So I wanted to find things, two things. So I wanted to pick items that were a little bit out of my comfort zone. This shirt is one of them. Things that I wouldn't typically go for, but that I really wanted to try. That's what I took this opportunity to do, was to try those kinds of items. But also I picked outfits for the most part versus just individual pieces. So I took the picture from the website and tried to recreate it and get either both pieces or style a piece with another piece that I thought would work together. So this video is in partnership with Shein. I do have a discount code as well, so I will put it here on the screen. Everything that you are about to see me try on, I will link in the description box down below. I'll also put the discount code there. I am wearing a size 4XL across the board. 4XL on Shein's website is equivalent to a US size 20. All of the items too that you're going to see are part of Shein X campaign. So it's a campaign that Shein is doing to sort of bring light to some designers, maybe lesser known designers, indie designers. It gives these designers and creative people an opportunity to create and style pieces and Shein sort of does all the back end work of creating, creating, I mean like making, manufacturing, that sort of thing, and selling, sending it out. Now, these creators, these designers do get a profit. So don't get me wrong, they're designing and they're getting paid for their work. But that's what they, Shein, is doing with this campaign. So that's what they reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this Shein X campaign. We want to uh, send you some pieces to show in a video. So that's what we're doing in this video. I'll leave a link also to the Shein X campaign like information web, web page if you want to read some more about it. But all of these things again are things that like this I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to styling them if I'm being honest because just this top I'm not sure how to wear it. But when you see it on the website paired then it's easy to style it. So let's get into it. I hope that you find something that you like like this. It's red right there because my hair is rubbing on my skin. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so first we have this look. So this is how, I'll put a picture here on the screen too. This is how Shein's website styled these two pieces were together. So I have this really cute, I would say full length skirt. I love the accordion style, the floral with the black, and it's more of like a tan versus here I'll show you up close it's more of like a tan versus a proper white and then I've tucked this shirt in so this is definitely an asymmetrical type top um it's meant to be snug y'all know snug things are not my favorite but I don't hate it it's very different and I like the shape like the fact that it's you know a little bit more form-fitting and then you've got this really cute flowy skirt here's what the back of the top looks like so it extends that bit down into the back. Okay, talk about getting out of my comfort zone. So this is a two piece set, but I ordered it as one. So I had to get the same size for the top and the bottom. But the minute I saw this on the website and saw that it came in my size, I was like, yeah, we're doing it. So I'm not wearing any shapewear because you can kind of see my stomach a little bit and my shapewear comes super high. But I guess you could probably finagle it to where you couldn't see like if you wanted to actually wear your shapewear this is the cutest oh my gosh y'all okay so it shorts zip on the side so there's shorts it is so cute so it's this really pretty baby blue color collared with the buttons here now it did actually come to with an extra button if you needed it the top obviously cropped bottom again i said i zipped it on the side here step into it zip it up shorts have like they're actual shorts but they have this bit so it's not like a, a full skirt but where can i wear this to because this is the cutest I don't think shapewear is necessary like if you don't want to wear shapewear in your life don't wear it no one no one's making you wear it you know what I mean and in my 
everyday life, I do not wear shapewear. Now, if I'm wearing like a dress or something, like to an event, I'll probably wear it. But for this, I may just wear like higher waisted underwear versus like actual shapewear. So I'm obsessed with this, y'all. I'm I'm obsessed. Like, do they do they just keep getting better or is it just me? So this one also a two-piece set, both in a size 4XL. The top is a little bit snug, it zips. But I think that's only because there's no stretch to it. I still didn't have to unzip it though. I was able to just put it on my head and finagle it how I needed it on my body. So I am wearing an, like an actual bra with it. Everything is covered by the fabric. And then the skirt is super elastic, no zipper or anything. I just stepped into it. Sort of like a midi length, I guess. You could absolutely lower it if you wanted it a little bit longer. And then if you wanted no skin, then maybe you could pull it up just a little bit. Now this one is not fall at all, I don't feel like, but on a tropical vacation with some sandals and a cute bag, I don't know, it's comfortable. I feel like the size is right. You can kind of see my bra in the back. So maybe again, I would wear a different kind of bra. You could even do like off the shoulder because this is all elastic here. Here's a close-up of the fabric, by the way, or the, the print. This one fits perfect. It is so cute. I think this was one of the first things that I picked out was this set. All right, next we have this little jogger set. I did pick these out separately. So if you are different sizes on the top versus the bottom, then you can coordinate whatever size you may need. Again, for me, both of them are in a size 4XL. So it's this muscle, like cut off, cropped sweatshirt material, but also like a bit of suede feeling. It's got this elastic band down at the bottom. It says flaws of couture. It's got a hoodie on the back. And then the pants are just your typical jogger. They've got the cute logo here again. This seam here, which I think is cute, maybe a little bit sporty, super high-waisted, drawstring, again, jogger style. I think this is cute too. I would probably just wear this with white sneakers. No pockets on the pants, but everything fits really nice. It's very comfortable. I would wear this, where can I wear this? Like this would be so cute if you threw on a jacket and some sneakers, some sunglasses, you've just got like, I keep wanting to put my hands in pockets, and you've just got like a cute little jogging, like running errands, I don't know why I'm dancing, like easy outfit. So I snagged this t-shirt I thought could go well, like the color scheme and everything could go well with these joggers, so we'll put it on in a second, but it says thick AF. <laughs> I mean, come on, how could I pass it up? But when I got it in, what I like about it is this like the, the writing on it feels just like the t-shirt. Like it's not ironed on or anything like that. So you're actually not gonna feel that. This one's in a size 4XL. Now this one did, let me put it on and then we'll talk about it. This one did also come, I think it came in black as well, but I opted for the tan obviously because I thought about these pants. Now it does have matching bike shorts that are the same color, say the same thing, but I just got the t-shirt. So here's what it looks like untucked. Again, size 4XL. We know I prefer things oversized, though sometimes when I'm standing here looking at something fitted, I'm like, maybe you need to switch up your game. <laughs> anyway, here's what it looks like. So I thought I would probably wear it like front tucked, maybe roll the sleeves, and it sort of changes the look of it. But this is a very soft t-shirt. I feel like it's definitely oversized. So obviously 4XL or US 20 is my normal size. So I could have sized down for sure one size. I don't know about two, but for sure one size. But if you wanted it even larger than size up, obviously, but it matches my joggers. I'd probably wear white sneakers with it or some of those, those slides. What are they called? Why am I drawing a blank? They're tan or you can get them in tan. I'm drawing a blank, but something, you know, very athleisure, relaxed look. Next outfit. Okay, so hear me out. I spotted these yellow pants and thought, I need them in my life. What can I pair with them? 
they are the cutest pants <laughs> and they fit really really well so they're super high-waisted this little belt was just a little bit long so hook zip belt and then there's no loops so i wasn't really sure what to do with the belt so i just tucked it in <laughs> to the front right here i did steam these too y'all i promise i steamed them <laughs> all right so they have pockets here this is just a fake little button closure here they're a bit cropped i mean not really they sit right at my ankles i just loved the yellow i thought it was the cutest like come on with the pockets and everything love that they're high-waisted and then here's what they look like from the back y'all i steamed these i don't know what happened but i promise you i steamed them so these very comfortable, very out of Taryn's comfort zone, but really, really cute. And then I paired them with this little cropped tee blouse. So it's collared, like a huge collar, buttons here. I love the puffy sleeve, but it is cropped. This is how long it is. And I just tucked it in to these pants. I just liked the idea of the top and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. And I thought, you know what? We're doing it with the yellow pants because it's so different and it looks like it's an embroidered top. It's not, it's not a super thick fabric actually. It's very soft, very comfortable. This top I grabbed too. I thought that the yellow in it maybe could match the yellow pants. So it's definitely an oversized fit. It's like a chambray material. These are actually embroidered flowers on it. You've got the tie super long tie at the neck so let's tie it and just see i tucked to the front end <laughs> but it is like a long top so i'll pull it out and show you in a second so if the other print that i just had on is not your thing then maybe something like this could be you i just i don't know the balloon sleeve it's got an elastic band here i could have definitely sized down in this so keep that in mind i just like the yellow with the yellow pants i think it's cute so here's what it looks like untucked could be cute with really any color pants like you could do like pink shorts front tuck it just something like with these colors on the front kind of pull it in and last but certainly not least we have this look in my head this works so much better um but i liked the color block the tan with the brown more of like a rusty orangey brown. And then the blue skirt, I like the idea in my head. I also thought this skirt could be really cute with a graphic tee and sneakers, which is how they styled it on the website. Um, but I wasn't sure that the tan thick AF t-shirt would go with it. So this is how we styled it. This top could also be um, maybe not the yellow pants because of the color in it, but some black pants. You know, you could get away with so many different things with the top. It's mock neck. I liked that they did this bit of different color on the sleeve. Size is good. It's meant to be snug. It is super soft. Um, the skirt's a little bit tight. You can see there's absolutely no stretch in this waistband. So it's a little bit snug, but it does have cute belt loops. If you did do a t-shirt, then maybe you could put a belt with your sneakers. All right, now that I'm a little bit sweaty trying on clothes, I think it's like 90 something degrees where I live today. So it's a little bit warm, uh, a little bit more warm than I would like for fall transition pieces, but that's okay. I feel like we're getting into those cooler months and some of y'all are already in that cooler weather. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My favorite, I have so many favorites, like the yellow pants, I think are just so cute. The cat is sitting right there. <laughs> Um, that two piece like light blue set I love just so many different things in this haul that I love and I'm so happy that I went out of my comfort zone to pick things that I wouldn't normally pick I feel like I had good luck and I'm glad that I did that so again thank you to Shein for partnering with me on this video everything that you just saw is linked in the description box down below also don't forget the discount code it is there as well and I hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.